en el país que ustedes están. Y en los Estados Unidos, nos reconocemos nuestras responsabilidades. Nos reconocemos nuestras responsabilidades. Mucho de la causa de la violencia que se está dando en México, que buena parte de la causa a raíz de la violencia que se está dando en México, por la cual han sufrido muchos mexicanos, es la demanda por las drogas ilegales en los Estados Unidos. Y así que tenemos que seguir logrando avances en ese frente. Y así que tenemos que seguir logrando avances en ese frente. I've been asked, and I, I uh, honestly do not believe that legalizing drugs is the answer, but I do believe that a comprehensive approach, not just law enforcement, but education and prevention and treatment, that's what we have to do. And we're going to have to stay at it because the lives of our children and the future of our nations depend on it. And we also recognize that most of the guns used to commit violence here in Mexico come from the United States. Perpetrar la violencia en México provienen de los Estados Unidos. I think many of you know that in America our Constitution guarantees our individual rights to bear arms. And as President, I swore an oath to uphold that right, and I always will. But at the same time, as I've said, in the United States, I will continue to do everything in my power to pass every common sense and reform that guarantees our individual rights to bear arms. And as President, I swore an oath to uphold that right, and I always will. But at the same time, as I've said, in the United States, I will continue to do everything in my power to pass every common sense and reform that guarantees our individual rights to bear arms. And as President, I swore an oath to uphold that right, and I always will. But at the same time, as I've said, in the United States, I will continue to do everything in my power to pass every common sense and reform that guarantees our individual rights to bear arms. And as President, I swore an oath to uphold that right, and I always will. But at the same time, as I've said, in the United States, I will continue to do everything in my power to pass every common sense and reform that guarantees our individual rights